Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Coffee and Headlines, our daily get-together live here on Facebook, 10.30 in the morning, every single day. And what do we do? We exchange headlines, comments, suggestions, tips, questions, ideas on how to have a wonderful time here in Puerto Vallarta as an English-speaking community of friendly, uh, nice, sexy, fabulous, hungry, uh, curious, and otherwise extraordinary locals. How's that for an intro? <laughs> I have all kinds of news today, from why I clear my throat so frequently, to uh, what's going on with the vaccine, to all kinds of wonderful things that I wanna share with you today. It is always a pleasure to see you. Um, and this is gonna be, <clears throat> excuse me, um, it's gonna be a challenging uh, broadcast for me because you haven't heard the silly song of the day and and it's already just killing me i can't stop singing it so um and it comes with a little dance so we're all going to have to learn this dance and see what we can make with, of it um if you're new to these broadcasts yes we are always this silly and weird and that's okay my name is paco let us know that you are new by writing the word new in your comment and uh, we will give you um a fabulous price no we'll just give you a proper welcome of course <clears throat> and um and what else am I forgetting? Oh, yes. If you have important questions that you want us to address during the broadcast, please add the letter Q at the beginning of your question so that we can single it out or try to anyway. And if we don't get to your question during the broadcast, we will certainly get to it after <clears throat> the broadcast is over. Oh, my God. Yesterday was such a crazy, wonderful day. Starting with the fact that I um, I rubbed elbows at uh, La Comer with one of our very own. I was walking down the Nile, and all of a sudden, the wonderful, sexy Craig Erickson is like, um, "Hello," and I. So we, we we just chatted. Was it? It it was it was wonderful. And what else? What else happened yesterday? Yesterday, I went to the doctor. Um, because I'd been concerned about all this sniffing and stuff like that. And I have something called rhinitis. I've been diagnosed with rhinitis. So I'm going to be spraying things up my nose for a few days just to see if it goes away. If anybody's had rhinitis, let me know how you fared. At least I, I'm, I know I'm not going to die of this. Or, you know, it's not that serious. It has to do with my nose having a deviated chingadera. But I'm going to be fine. Yay, I'm going to be fine. And then what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Well, yesterday I went on a fabulous mission that I can't give you details of because I can't. But I want to let you know that yesterday evening was a great moment in which for many wonderful reasons, I realized I was in the right place at the right time. And what a blessing that was. Um, and that's how we start the day. Let me very quickly... Um, uh, let me very quickly um, 
No, I did not rub elbows with Craig Erickson. I know I didn't. I know it was not you, Craig. It was it was it was somebody else. And uh, but it was another local. And I'm having a senior moment. I'm having a pothead moment. But your name will come back to me. You own a restaurant here in town. You ride a bicycle, and I'm just being silly. And I'm going to stop being silly. And I'm going to very quickly say hello to everybody that is joining us this morning. Que pachuca Puerto Luca, Alan Shepard. How are you? I love the way. Um, Alan always says good morning in Spanish. I love it. Kathy's in the house from Oakland, and Karen's in the house from Minnesota, and uh, <clears throat> Raymond is in the house from Versailles. Everybody's here. How wonderful this is. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Chile, Nuevo Vallarta from Terry. Welcome. Uh, Summerland, BC, Canada. Excellent, Lisa. Good morning. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Simon just got into town. Excellent. I hope your travels were not crazy, and it's great that you're here. Uh, Calabasas, California says hello. Calabasas, CA. I hope that CA is California. If not, just correct me. Um, I beg your pardon. My Japanese chin is being neutered today. Oh, chin must be a breed of something, unless you're speaking in code. Whatever that is done, I hope it is successful. <laughs> uh, what else do we have here? Oh my God, you're right, it is Friday. Thank you for the reminder. Somebody had said, please let us know what day of the week it is because we get scattered that way. It is Friday, December 11th. <clears throat> um, <laughs> Alain says, I would love to see a home-sized version of the rain sculpture, elegant, Proportions. I'm sure it can be obtained at the gallery that's representing them. Um, let's see. Am I going to dance for you? Not today, but I do have a dancey surprise in the works. Um, oh, Terry, you have no idea. We've been silly songing all week long, and it's been a lot of fun. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. Right, 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 right. Well, I have it. <laughs> I have it. Uh, let's see. I love the menorah on my on your screen. Thanks for that. Of course, Sherry. Last night was the first light, and uh, we can't take that for granted. It's an important celebration for many, and it is uh, Hanukkah is something that I had the pleasure of of learning a lot about and, and a lot of things about the Jewish tradition during nine wonderful day uh, nine wonderful years that I spent partner with. Uh, partnered with a beautiful uh, Jewish man, a cultural Jewish man, not so much a religious one. So we learned a lot about, uh, um, <clears throat> about, about Judaism during that period. Uh-oh, more, more pronunciation corrections. All I know is there's like incessant stuff oozing from my nose. It sounds disgusting, and it feels disgusting too. It was you, Sean. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't mean to confirm you. Um, um, I, I, I didn't mean to conf confuse you, rather. It's funny because I was in the in supermarket and, and, and all of a sudden I heard this, Paco, and I went, yes. And we turned around and I kind of recognized Sean and we acknowledged each other and I, I felt a little bit of girlish enthusiasm. And of course, we wanted to hug, but what did we do? We did the elbow dance and we turned around and we did all kinds of things. And then there was this lady trying to get by and she gave us a look like, you know, you guys are like, too close to one another, and she gave us an evil eye. I didn't care. We just carried on with our day, but it made um, it, it was wonderful to meet another one <clears throat> from our, our from our cluster. And of course, as I said to Sean, I want to connect with him so that we can take um, a trip to his restaurant that we haven't had a chance to visit just yet. Um, Michael wants to have a date. Um, I wish I could have a date tonight, Michael, but I am pre-recording. Uh, a special surprise for, for Coffee and Headlines tonight. So unfortunately, I am not available. 420 in Portland makes me feel jealous. Uh, um, this I don't understand, but it reads really cute. Ne uh, yeah, I don't know what it is, but it sounds like habit forming. I love it, I love it. Um, oh, Don says he has a dog. Excellent, thank you for clarifying. Oh my God, he's coming to Hotel Mercurio. This is wonderful. Um, oh, oh, Net, Netai, Netai Pots. 
neti pods are great for fixing your sinuses. I don't know what it is, but I will definitely research it. Thank you very much for the wishful thinking. Uh, let's see. Oh, stop it, Claude. That is so silly. Uh, on Sunday Fun Day, remind me to tell you. Um, okay, okay. Ta -da, da -da 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 -da. You guys are so wonderful. You said neti pot, neti pot, a neti pot. Oh, wow. Fabulous. I have to research this. Anyhow, enough welcomes. I think we're all here. I think we're all here. Um, oh, it is a device. This is sounding more and more disgusting, just as disgusting as the silly video and song that I'm going to share with you today. Today's song is so moronic, but I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> but before we go there, um, I am going to... Oh, Jorge, you are such a jealous little man. You know, we, 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 you and I will rub whatever you want us to rub whenever you come down to Puerto Vallarta. Don't worry. I'm a rubby. I, I like to rub. I like to rub. So trust me, there will be plenty of rubbing for whoever is valiant enough to rub against me. I'm becoming very silly and we haven't even looked through the news. So let's go there. Okay, so for starters, um, I understand that the Pfizer va vaccine was approved in the United States yesterday, which means that we're getting closer to having it approved in Mexico. COFEPRIS, which is the Mexican Agency of Administration of Medication and Food, um, um, or something to that effect, is going to be giving the final okay to the vaccine today. Oh, I'm sorry, the COFEPRIS is the Federal Commission of Protection Against Sanitary Risks. This is the agency in Mexico that is going to give the final A-OK -okay so that the vaccine can come to Mexico later on this month and we can start our vaccination strategy. Uh, don't make any plans to go visit um, the Virgin of Guadalupe uh, today or tomorrow because they have closed the local church and this is probably just as well. You won't be able to visit church until December 13 because of the pandemic. And again, I think this will make some parishioners very unhappy, but it's probably just as well. <clears throat> it looks like we were a little early. Check out the silly photograph, our mayor doing the, 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 the rain dance ah, um, on the Malecon along with the gallery owner. And I don't know if the author is, I don't think the, the author of the sculpture is there. But this has been now finally um, inaugurated. Uh, it, is, it makes a total of 34 uh, sculptures located along the Malecon. Um, and this is really remarkable. We learn now that uh, the Rain Man, or, or Rain is, is the name of the, of the sculpture, is three meters and a half tall, weighs 650 kilos, and is worth $60,000, and it was donated, um, of course. And um, so this is a good thing. We have a lot of photographs here to look at so that you can get a better sense as to what this is all about. But of course, we've seen this in our walking tour that we had the other day. Um, then there is more information coming out about this business of... Um, of uh, the home office workers in Mexico. If you are a Mexican worker working for a Mexican company here in Mexico, um, there's been changes to, um, to the, the labor laws in Mexico and uh, more and more details will become available as to what are the rights and what are the responsibilities you have as a worker. Um, and your employer will also have rights and responsibilities in terms of whether they are going to pay for your internet or whether you have a right to privacy and so forth and so on. This is all very important. I actually don't know how strictly uh, labor laws are in other countries as, as they relate to um, people that work from home, but this is an interesting new uh, development in labor laws in Mexico. We also find out, well, we already knew this, uh, Contralinea reminds us that traveling during this period is something that increases the risk of catching COVID. Um, we already knew that, but it is, it, it is never uh, a waste 
to remind us that um, this period of vacations that is coming up, uh, Mexico's, um, well, actually, this comes from the Jalisco uh, Health Secretary, uh, encouraging people to not travel uh, according to guidelines that come from the World Health Organization, of course. Uh, but so if you're traveling or if you have traveled, you know, please do so as as carefully as you possibly can. And um, and we know what the guidelines are. Let me take a quick break here and take a look at your comments. Um, let's see what we have. Why does everybody know about neti pots except for me? Is a mystery, but I appreciate the fact that we, that I learned things from you, and and I'm so very very grateful for this. Um, much appreciated. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, ugh, really? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Ugh. Okay, okay. You will not see a video of that. That sounds disgusting. But thank you for the. <laughs> Thank you for the information. I will put myself in a in a proper frame of mind to shoot liquid out of one of my nostrils. I never heard of such a thing. That's horrible. Um, anyhow, oh my God, you guys are so caring. All these links for where I can find this new vessel of massive destruction. Um, <clears throat> is distilled water easy to find in PV? You can find it everywhere. Rest assured. Um, ba, ba, dum, bum, 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 bum. Let's see. It's very Canadian. Okay, very well. Nitty pots will change your life. Well, of course, if you're darting liquid up one nostril and squirting it out the other, how could that possibly not change my life? I mean, Luna is going to be totally freaked out. She's going to be like, what the fuck are you doing? But, um, <laughs> but I will go there. And no one hears about a neti pot until they need it. I, that is so very funny. I am actually using a nasal spray, which is, uh, it is also very weird. I am, I am so, fe I'm feeling so relieved that there are some kindred spirits here. Thank you so very much for that. Continuing with our headlines, let me come back to the other screen. What do we have? Oh, this is very important. There's going to be a live conversation with Anthony Fauci uh, happening on December 14. This is uh, live today, explained by Vox. What an awesome opportunity to hear the latest and greatest developments from uh, Dr. Anthony Fauci. I will try to catch this. This is going to happen on Monday, December 14th at 4 o'clock Eastern Time. I, of course, you will have the link in case you want to... Uh, uh, <laughs> you want to go there. Yes, this does sound, neti pot sound like a vessel of mass destruction. Completely, completely. I, I'm, I'm scared, but I will, I will actually go there. I will actually go there. Um, I saw some comments about cruise ships. There is a cruise ship in town. It is the Grand Princess. It arrived in Puerto Vallarta. It's on its way to uh, Los Angeles, California, and uh, there's nobody on board except for the crew. And I suspect, oh yeah, this confirms it. It's coming from Panama. So it's probably one of those relocation trips that um, I think people that have gone on cruises before, they're called relo relocation cruises. So it is going to um, to LA where it's probably going to start its, its new runs once the pandemic is over. And according to this, it will remain in Puerto Vallarta for seven days and, um, and it will leave on December 17th. Now, okay, now we're moving into our leisurely stuff. So let me very quickly take a look at your final comments. Um, ha! Paul says, is drowning, uh, drowning a concern with these med, 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 neti pots? Well, I sure hope I won't drown. Um, but um, I I'll just tell you how it goes. There are, oh no, there are hilarious videos about neti pots on YouTube. I am so afraid. I kind of like Alan's, um, Alan's approach, eating jalapenos. I'm definitely going to try that one. Thank you very much. Uh, teaspoon of Tabasco. You guys are so swell. I a wasabi, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all these wonderful health-related recommendations. And speaking of health, let me turn the weather on. I didn't even turn it on in my excitement to connect with you. Um, let's see. Oh, before I do that, I want to send some good vibes 
to a dear friend of our community. And something strange happened yesterday, something wonderful and strange and unexpected. Our friend Lynn, uh, who owns Casa Bella Vista, sent me this beautiful uh, note yesterday. She's been in Canada, uh, in Canada. I call it Canadian, but it, she's been in Canada looking after her 90-year-old mother and uh, she sent a lot of appreciation for the walking tour. Well, this is really strange and wonderful, Lynn, because yesterday I was on a mission, um, a secret mission, of course, and lo and behold, I had just read your message, which I loved, and all of a sudden I found myself here, walking down your street and walking past your beautiful home, and I figured I will take this photograph and share it with you just so that you know that we are thinking about you and we are sending wonderful vibes for you and yours and hoping that you are able to return to Puerto Vallarta safely sometime in the very near future. Mm. Mwah. So now let us head into the weather business. <music> Twenty-six degrees Celsius feels like twenty-eight. It is seventy-nine degrees Fahrenheit, and humidity is a low fifty-five percent. How wonderful is that? Our weather forecast for today. Uh uh, wrong button. Sorry about that. Our weather forecast for today tells us that it's going to be partly cloudy through the day, with a uh, uh, high temperature of twenty-eight, low temperature of twenty. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy through the day as well. High temp temperature of 29, low temperature of 19. And Sunday, mostly cloudy through the day. High temperature of 27, and it's going to get chilly. It's going to go down to 18 degrees. And that is chilly for us Vallartenses, of course. And uh, see, is rhinitis. Rhinitis makes me cough. And I've been coughing all these days, thinking, oh, my God, I'm going to spread something horrible. But I have rhinitis, and I have to subject my nose to all these horrible things that you're suggesting. I guess it is what it is. Now, today is a wonderful day, not only because it's Friday, but it's also a wonderful day because Netflix um, um, is giving us The Prom, which is this wonderful adaptation <clears throat> of a, a Broadway musical starring the wonderful Meryl Strip, Streep, Strip, Streep. Meryl Streep, uh, who cannot do anything wrong. And this is definitely something that I'm going to be watching later on today. We shared the trailer for this a few days ago, and it looked very, very funny. Let's hope that it is. Um, and we also learned that the wonderful Welch uh, bass baritone Bryn Terfel is going to perform a live concert on December 12th. That will be tomorrow at 1 o'clock. Uh, he's going to be performing holiday songs, and um, and this is a paying uh, concert. This is not something that we're going to be able to just watch live, but I believe, if we look at the press release, that tickets are going to be $20, which is a real bargain, if you ask me. Bryn Terfel is going to be joined by two rising Welsh singers, soprano Natalia Romaniv, Romaniu, and tenor Tristan, I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name, but it sounds really sexy. And um, and he's going to be performing a, a series of um, Christmas songs and then some music from Tannhäuser. So for you opera lovers, and I know that you're everywhere, you just don't want to admit it. This is going to be a wonderful concert to enjoy. Street artist Banksy has uh, revealed a new... Uh, piece of art, and it is very appropriate for the season. It's called a chew, and it is this lady sneezing and losing her dentures as she does it. It's absolutely priceless. This was painted in uh, in England somewhere, and I want a t-shirt of it. I just want to make sure that you know that for Christmas, if they make t-shirts, I would love to receive one. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> then we also learned that PETA, um, is trying to make us more politically correct with the way we use several common sayings like killing a bird with one shot or killing two birds with one shot and things like that. Now, this is not new news. This has been going on around uh, um, for, oh, my God, 
Oh my God, look at this. Lynn is watching. I am so glad that you're watching live because I, if your ears bust yesterday, Lynn, um, it was because, you know, the universe creates wonderful happenstances. And yesterday, as I said before, I find myself standing in front of your doorway. So I hope you're doing great. I hope you'll come back soon. And um, boom, let me go back to the, the business of these politically correct sayings. Um, that have to do with uh, with the uh, common sayings, but th th this happens both in English and in Spanish. Here are some of the sayings that PETA wants us to change: "Kill two birds with one stone," "To feed two birds with one scone." Well, isn't that funny? You know, there's a part of me that appreciates the politically correctness um, of this, but then there's another part that goes seriously. Now, the good thing about this exercise is that I have both the list in English and I have the list in Spanish. So I'm going to post these both in the show notes so that you can see that not all the, the sayings are equivalent to one another. We have slightly um, uh, different sayings in Spanish. Like, for example, in Spanish, we say two people get along like cats and dogs, meaning they don't get along well. Um, and then we have a saying in Spanish that, that it goes, poner toda la carne en el asador, which means put all the meat in the grill, on the grill, on, in the grill, on the grill. And that means, you know, to really do something with lots of enthusiasm. But they want, you know, us to tone down our animal related sayings. I'm going to leave that there so that you can decide whether you want to be politically correct or not. <clears throat> and it'll be a fun Spanish lesson. Let me take a quick look at your final comments before I reveal why do I feel like I'm missing something? Let's see. We d oh, no, we are not missing anything. I showed you Lynn's comment. I showed you my photo. I look at comments from you, and let's see what do you have. Oh, my God, neti pots, neti pots, and more neti pots. Um, uh, Oh, gosh, let me tell you something, Jorge. This happened to my mother when she was visiting Japan. The same thing happened to her. You know, she saw a little bowl of green. So she just grabbed a spoonful of it. She's thinking, oh, guacamole, lovely. And she just ate it. And she was not well. She was definitely not well for quite a few days. Uh, let's see. Uh, I would love to see Oprah doing the netty on live television. <laughs> oh my God, I am scared. I am scared. Michael, I have the same opinion of Bryn Terfel. He is such an amazing singer. Um, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful recital. And yes, he was great in Sweeney Todd. That is such an amazing televised performance. It's not even funny. Uh, let's see. Boom, ba -dim, bam, 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 bam. What's on my shirt? Well, of course, it's a kitty. It's my Meow You Doing t-shirt. It's the t-shirt that I wear when I want to be comfy. And I have to be comfy today because I have to clean the house. <laughs> okay. Now, for our truly weird, disgusting, obnoxious song of the day, I want to introduce you to 47-year-old Katsuhito Kosaka. He is a Japanese comedian, television personality, and, and an entertainer. He is also known as Pico Taro. And this gentleman had the dubious privilege of singing for U.S. President Donald Trump during his fall 2017 trip to Asia. And he was chosen to delight President Trump um, at the official state reception, reportedly because Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe wanted to keep the mood upbeat. <laughs> so this song, I'm just, I'm just gonna give you the link, and you tell me how you deal with it. All I can say is that it is absolutely weird and silly and goofy, and it'll make you uh, sing and dance. That's all I'm going to say. And Logan, if you're watching, we have to learn this. We have to learn this because it's very, very, it's very wholesome. It's called Pen Pineapple Apple Pie. That's the name of the song. I will give you the link. And in fact, for those of you that are in a hurry, 
Where is the link for it? I think I can do that right now. Uh, here goes the link. And of course, you can find it later on on the show notes. And with that thought in mind, I think it's a good time to start saying our goodbyes. I am sure you're going to love the video. The video, the production, the visual design, and the dancing, it's, it's just absolutely goofy. So final comments. Uh, let's see what we have. Boom, ba -dee, bam, 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 bam. Gary Bertels needs to run. I'm sorry to hear that. I try to walk everywhere. I don't run anywhere anymore. But wherever you have to go, Gary, um, um, have a nice run. And as you're watching, as you're watching this um, video that I shared with you, please imagine this guy entertaining Donald Trump at an official reception. Um, the visuals are just fantastic, at least for me. Folks, it was another day, and I'm very grateful for that. I hope your Friday is going to be wonderful. Tomorrow we are back with more fun and more news, as always. And Sunday is going to be our Sunday fun day, as, as always, where we don't talk about news. All we do is silly stuff, like we don't do silly stuff during the week. Hello. Between now and then, stay kind, stay happy, stay friendly, stay well-fed, stay protected, safe, face masked. And, um, and stay away from the nose device that is going to obliterate the world. I'm going to have to, oh, the neti pot. Yeah, don't, don't go neti potting if you can help it. And I will see you again soon. Have an awesome day.